Hi everybody and welcome to this video series Above Down Inside Out. Thank you very much for signing up for this eight-part video series. I will be your host Dr. Jeffrey Hanna and in these particular videos what we are going to be discussing are going to be principles about health care, about life care, about what it means to actually be well. So we're going to be looking at a, a number of different ideas here, and hopefully you're going to find that this is going to be both informative, but also valuable at the same time, and hopefully a little bit enjoyable as you go along. Certainly, there are many things in life that you would much rather be talking about spending your time doing instead of always focusing on health. It can get a little bit boring, to tell you the truth. And so what we're going to be discussing here and looking at are some of the things that will hopefully help you accomplish the level of health in your life that you want so that you can actually enjoy and do all of the things that you would much rather be doing. There's an old Arabic proverb that I've heard, and it goes to the effect that if you think of all of the things in life that you love to do, so it's spending time with your family, it is developing your own mental where, uh, well-being, it is working on your spiritual development. It's working on your business, your finances. All of these are like zeros that you would just keep stacking one after another after another. Your health, though, is the number one that goes at the beginning of all of those zeros. And what's the end of this proverb? It's in brief that with your health and all those zeros after it, you're the richest person in the world. But without it, all you have are a whole bunch of zeros. And unfortunately, when it comes to health care, when it comes to medical care, when it comes to actually being able to do and enjoy the different things that you want to do in life, there are so many different myths, different opinions, and different avenues that you can go that in all honesty, it can get very, very confusing to know what to do. Even a person who is a trained healthcare professional, even they are still human at the end of the day. And yes, they are here to guide you, to do the very best that they can. But they, and this includes me, we all do it through the lens of our own understanding. And so in these particular videos here, we're not going to be first and foremost diagnosing you or giving you any specific health or medical advice. Why? Because this is a video. That actually requires an individualized approach, individualized consultation. We're not doing that for you here. Instead, what we're doing is we're going to give you some principles that apply all the way across the board, no matter what form of care you need or you do, whether it is medicine, whether it is nutritional medicine, whether it is chiropractic, whether it is physical therapy, whether it is acupuncture, whether it is energetic medicine, whether it is orthopedic medicine, the full spectrum, the same rules apply. Why? It's because no matter what form of different care you're doing, guess what? You are still a part of your physical body. The same rules of physics, the same natural laws apply no matter what just like the force of gravity. Whether you believe it or not, it's going to have an impact on you. And so the same thing goes in terms of what actually allows your body to work. So in these videos, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at some of the principles that will help guide you in whatever individualized sort of circumstances you find yourself in so that you can achieve, maintain and live at that highest possible level that you actually want to. Again, so that you can enjoy and do all of the things that you want to do in life. So who is this and who are these videos going to be for? They're going to be for people, number one, if you've ever asked, is this what is actually true? Again, all doctors, all health practitioners, we are human and we have our own cognitive biases, the way that we've learned different kinds of things. And it is sometimes very, very difficult to know the difference between what is fact and what is opinion. And so you have every right to question. And we're going to be giving you a few principles so that you can ultimately decide what is true for you and what's the most appropriate thing to do with that. Because 
you can still have the most knowledgeable, educated practitioner working on your side in the world, but there's something intangible. If that message and if they personally are not resonating with you, that only goes so far. Now, that's not a substitute for skill and knowledge, but skill and knowledge, there's also a level of wisdom and an energetic congruence that's also a necessary part of the healing element. So we're going to look at that. Number two, who do I trust? As we just said, there are an infinite number of people, infinite number of gurus out there who you can listen to. I am not one of them. So everything that I am saying, please do put it through the filter of your own experience. Is what I'm saying make sense? Is it resonating with you? And then if so, okay, what would then you choose to do with that? There's a little rule of guidance that I oftentimes give. I'll let you know it right now. It's never allow your accountant, your government, or your insurance provider to make your healthcare decisions for you. The same goes even for your doctor. Push comes to shove at the end of the day. You are responsible for making those choices, doing the best that you can with the information you have at the time. Yes, again, you're human, I'm human. We're going to make mistakes, but we do the best that we can. And with that, of course, that's going to go right into question number three. How do I know what is right for me? A good chunk of knowing what is right for you is, yes, collecting the facts, collecting the data, going through a cognitive and a conscious decision to determine that. But a good chunk of it is also listening to what's right here. We're very, very good as humans, as adults, of learning how to tune out that sense of intuition, that inner sense, that inner voice who actually knows far more about what's actually going on and what we need than we can consciously access. So a good chunk of the road to recovery, the road to wellness, is learning again to being able to listen to this and weighing it against the logical information that is out there, both heart and also brain. Now, you also need to know what is it going to take because so many people, they set themselves up for failure, disappointment. They have unrealistic expectations of what it's going to take. And this is a little joke, but I'll oftentimes ask some of my own clients before I start working with them. I ask them, okay, do you want to be healthy and well? Well, everybody's going to say, yeah, of course I want to be healthy and well. I'm going to say, okay, question number two then, what are you willing to do in order to get healthy and well? And the number one answer that I get is whatever it takes. And that is the right answer. If you want to get what you truly want in life, not just health, but in life, you're going to be willing to do whatever it takes. But here's the kicker. What if I haven't actually told you what it's going to take? What if I told you that it's going to take an inordinate struggle? It's going to cost you the better part of $50,000 or more. It's going to take you three challenging years of your life before you get the resolution. And if I tell you, you may not be able to get 100% all the way, but you can still increase your capacity to enjoy your life by 60 to 70%. Is that worth it? So there are all of these other factors that go into it. And people at this point, and again, I'm being facetious, but they say, well, okay, whoa, I never really thought about that. Aha. Uh -huh. And because you haven't thought about some of these, good chunk, because you've probably not had to think about them before, and that's okay. But it's being aware of the nature of what it's actually going to take, being emotionally prepared to take the responsibility and to navigate and to find your way forward going. It doesn't mean that you have to know the entire process and the entire road that's in front of you, because the reality is, is oftentimes that road will change. Yes, you're still going towards your overall trajectory, your overall destination, but the path that you think it's going to take to get you there may change as you're going along the way. And with that, then, the possibility of setbacks. A good chunk of people who are going to be watching this video, I know that you have already done a number of different things looking for solutions for whatever 
illness, whatever sickness, whatever lack of health condition, whatever you choose to call it, that you have been dealing with. And you have done so many of the things that should have worked. And you wonder, what is it actually going to take? Is this just my lot in life? What do I do if this doesn't work? And sometimes it is, in all honesty, it hurts to hope. A lot of people have had their hopes set up only to be disappointed yet again. And it's almost easier in some ways to deal with the physical, the emotional, the mental un or lack of well-being than it is to be disappointed just yet again. So what I also want to share with you are a few of the principles about why that may have happened to you, why it would be that you have done all of the right things, but you haven't seen the breakthrough that you hope and that you would expect to have done. Again, I'm not here to give you the answers. I'm not your guru, but I do want to share with you some of the principles about why that happened so that it can give you the resilience the strength and the courage to get back into the ring one more time, two more times, three more times, whatever it takes. If you truly want to be well, knowing what it's going to take, but also then how to handle setbacks when they happen. Because our greatest definition of our character, it doesn't come from our successes. In reality, we are not defined by our failures either. It's how we respond. It's how we make change. It's how we grow and it's what we learn to be able to move forward, to be able to pick ourselves up and also then how we handle ourselves in our moments of success. That is what ultimately defines our character. So as you can see, all of these different things, we're talking about health, that they are going to reach into many areas of our lives. Now, I'm also not going to be giving personal advice. As we already said, I'm also not giving financial advice. I am not going to be giving you psychological advice. I'm not giving you marital advice. I'm not giving you any of these kinds of things. Again, what we're going to be doing in these particular videos here are looking at a few principles as they apply to health, well-being, and the expression of life so that you can accomplish and live the goals that you actually want to. And then from there, of course, that's just going to be laying the foundation. The work then is going to be very much up to you about what you're able to do with that information, with those lessons, and hopefully some of that wisdom that has been shared with me over the course of the years so that you can go forth, enjoy all the things that you really want to in life. So thanks for watching this introductory video. We'll see you on the next one, video number one. Bye for now.